Hey there everybody, today is the 8th of February 2021. My name is Kevin and this is your morning message and meditation. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you had a great Saturday and Sunday. It was good to be with you, those of you who joined me live and those of you who are on this morning, welcome, welcome. Welcome to another week. I think this is the really the second week of February. Um, <clears throat> so we're six weeks into the year thereabouts, maybe six and a half, seven. Um, so what's showing up for you? Um, what's occurring and what are you doing to move your um, self forward? Um, that's what it feels like. So uh, good morning. Good morning. Oh, my goodness. Maggie is on. Wow. Mm, that's a first. OK, so uh, I did my let me have a quick cup of the tea because I'm happy that I sort of stopped the coffee. Um, I didn't realize that drinking coffee for me gave me a sense of irritation. <laughs> and I didn't realize until I stopped drinking it, that's where it was coming from. Um, it may be something different. It might have been changing uh, orientation, something else. Um, but I've noticed that um, um, yeah, I noticed that this coffee business is, is for me not lining up. So I'm kind of enjoying the tea. Hmm. Cheers. <laughs> I've also got to be careful with this microphone because, you know, big old cup. I love me a big old cup of builder's tea, but you've got to be careful. I'm not slurping. <laughs> um, anyway, that being said, today's message came in loud and clear, bright and cheerful. Uh, the morning after the mess. So what does that even mean? <clears throat> We got to clean up the mess, people. We got to um, stop the 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 the, the clatter chatter, the negative nelliness, the whining and the complaining, the bitching and the moaning. No, 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 no. Ah, uh -uh. <laughs> dump it, dump it, dump it. So I was sitting here this morning. Oh, and by the way, I um, I'm on on the third one of the bonus round of my learning. I did some schooling last night. I um. To all those that are football fans, hey, listen, I hope you had a great time watching that game. I already knew before they even started, this was going to be a runaway. Um, and it was. Uh, <laughs> no disrespect for the Kansas City Chiefs, but like, oh, yeah, you have that duo. Was it Brady and the Bronco? Whatever his name is. Bronkowski. I don't even follow football and I know these people. You got those people on the tr the field and like, okay, with well, those two, it's like having, um, let's see, two big Tonka trucks going at it on a field. They're going to tear this mess up and it's going to be over before it started. So there you go. Um, I did like that, that poet laureate lady, that, that young, um, she's just so inspirational uh the 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 poet that, that spoke at the uh inauguration and then she did her same poem yesterday uh wow that lady's going to be a powerhouse which leads me to where we're all going and what we're all doing you're either on the bus or you're not because i tell you what when you're standing at the bus stop in the rain with no umbrella it's not a pleasant place to be get on the bus and let's move it right along let's keep it going let's keep it moving 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 which then tells me what was my message for today. Today's message was this. It came in loud and clear. Raise your vibration. The time is right now. You're doing the work. You're cleaning out your emotional closets, your physical closets, your cupboards. You're dumping out the old clothes that no longer fit. Choosing, making better choices for yourself. Um, <clears throat> you can ride down the road of... Um, Woe is me, I haven't got this, I haven't got that. You can you can certainly take that. But that's crowded. There's a lot of people on it. And I've said this before. 
if you're on these messages, you're on these meditations and you're doing this kind of work, you've got angels. You've got, you got guides and spirits and angels that are lifting you up saying, listen, this is the message we need to work with. Everybody's an equal. Everybody does this together. Everybody gets you. They listen to you. They, they, you're in their pocket. You've got them in your heart. It, all of that. It's, it's, this is, that's the ride that you want to be on. Um, yeah, we can all complain for sure. I get asked all the time, how are you? I'm great. It wouldn't pay to complain because where does it get you? Who's really listening? And truthfully, hand on heart, really, and eyes to God. Do you really think that people, when you complain to them, care? I mean, if someone's having a bad day, I'm right there with them because I can feel it. I can see it. Oh, I'm going to sit there with you and we're going to work through this, but we're going to work through it. We're not going to sit in this puddle of pity. And if you do want a puddle of pity, well, let's have a party. Let's just get some cake and some balloons and cry our eyes out. Get it out. Whoosh, go. Um, there is that. What I will say about that is life is not always sunshine, roses and chocolate cake. Um, there are times where people go through really tough um, obstacles. What I know about it, having struggled myself, struggled with physical um issues, struggled with weight issues, struggled with self-esteem issues, struggled with the idea that nobody got me, nobody understood me, nobody liked me, and anyone that was up for what I was up for was considered terrible, awful, horrible. Um, what did that teach me? It taught me that I am Teflon coded, but with a soft gooey center. Um, we can be all kinds of things, but sometimes when we face the deep, biggest, deepest adversities there's lessons in there um we become advocates for the cause uh advocates for saying no absolutely not no 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 let's let's not go here so my message today is the morning after the mess if you found yourself in a bit of a mess uh in a bit of a pickle uh things are topsy-turvy turned around they're not working out for you you found yourself in this just this i can't take any more that sort of energy you've got to lift the vibration up that's what this is about this is the message very simple what i love about these cards is their messages are very pure very simple easy to follow it's our job my job to unpack it and make it look where it be where it's supposed to be. Do with the message what I get from it and apply it to where we are. I hope that makes sense. Um, with that said, I want to read from my lovely book and see if today's date. I didn't read yesterday's because I was so excited about whatever we were talking about, learning and student and teacher being on the same page. I didn't read yesterday. So I'm going to start with yesterday's Melody Bakey, Beatty, uh, Journey to the Heart, and then we'll go to today. So yesterday we had the seventh. Listen to your inner voice. Our inner voice, that quiet guide within, will lead us along our path will help us create our destiny, will keep us in harmony. So much stress comes from not listening, not trusting our inner voice. So much confusion comes from trying to act before we have heard, before we are guided. So much pain comes from when we deny what that voice is saying. When we try to run from it or make it go away, we wonder how we can trust ourselves. Better question is, how can we not trust ourselves? Our rage, anger and most bitter resentments occur when we trust others rather than ourselves. Sometimes prompting comes outside of ourselves. The universe is alive, magical, responsive and will always guide us on our way. But the answer must always resonate 
must always ultimately come from that place within our heart, our soul, our voice. Sometimes we need to listen to others until we become impassioned enough to hear and trust ourselves. Hmm. It takes place, the quiet practice of listening, until we learn how to hear ourselves, then interpret what we hear. It is neither wasted time nor incidental to our lives to learn or hear ourselves, to tune into our hearts and souls. That's part of the reason we're here, part of the destiny, our mission, our promise. Our best work, our finest moments, our joys happen when we're centred, listening to and trusting ourselves. Allowing our hearts and souls to guide us. They happen when we allow ourselves to fully, completely and in love be who we are. You know, we can't be somebody else because they're already taken. Um, we have to listen to the inner voice and sometimes listen to the inner voice. We have to sit down and be quiet for a minute. Go sit in the corner, put your feet on the floor, close your eyes, take a big breath. I've done that in my car, in my vehicle. Turn the phones off. Turn your devices off. Stop the ping, ping, ling, 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 ling. It's quite distracting. <laughs> um, I giggle because that's making me think about the time I'd be working on someone's hair. I've talked about this before. I've got scissors in my hands. It's all right with a blow dryer. So no big deal. But I've got scissors in my hand. And you're with the phone. And this is going on and this is happening and then we and then we wonder why well i've got to go back through and cut some bits off here because i missed a bit over here it's like doing a second haircut and it's quite interesting how the phone will buzz or ding or ping or go and the client in the chair is twitching it's this is automatic response so there's that vibration is going away from really what's happening in here. I'm not saying don't have them. We have them for a reason. They were created to give us convenience. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to connect in a way that we are able to connect. But there's a time and a place for everything. And sometimes we have to take a digital detox. Turn them off. Nothing that you do for two, three hours a day is going to be earth-shatteringly bad. It's just a habit we've got into that we have to draw out of. So today, well, that was today's message. Listen to the inner voice. Well, I guess then the universe did not want me to talk about yesterday's, which was the seventh. Experience love for yourself. To find love, you must first find it in yourself. And the affirmation is stay open, Keep loving yourself. Know that you are a vital part of living universe. Watch how much better, how much kinder life is as you grow in peace and harmony with yourself. See how much more love is mirrored in the universe since you're committed to loving yourself. You know, we can't be for other people unless we are first for ourselves. We cannot be for other people unless we're first for ourselves. Now, that's not to say we've got to live in selfishness. It's not to say that we've got to not give a damn. It's just to say that we have to fill up the gas tank. And then when we've got it together, we've got it solid. When somebody else is falling down or somebody else is coming apart, we've already got our strength there. We've already got our, our fortification, our love and um, reinforcements. And we can then bolster and lift other people. But if we're already depleted, if we're all running around on empty tanks of emotion, empty tanks of physicality, we can't lift anyone else up. When they're down and we're down, everybody falls down. Our job right now, people, is to lift each other up. I wonder what, um, I don't know where that book is. Oh, here it is. Um, I've got Amy over here. She matches the color of the chair. She's passed out. Um, that's what I've noticed about bringing these guides and angels into my house more and more and more the last few months is that these animals are so very chilled. They're so very like phew, nothing, no worries. I don't have any issues with them. No fighting, no fussing, no nervousness. It's quite something. Um, 
Let's go with this. These are that book I talked about written by the two delightful women that live in Matthews, I think they do. Um, let's see. We've done some of these before. I want to go to another one. Let's see. Well, no picture. There we go. Let's see what it says in here. I haven't even read this. When we turn to faith, we patiently wait. Ooh. If not today, maybe tomorrow. Ooh. I like that. That's a message about putting out what you want, sending off your rockets of desire, vibrating with, uh, let's see, transmitting vibrational energy. You know what I'm saying? You, you put up your request, you said like this, then you've got to wait. You've got to kind of sit back and let it all happen. Let go. Let go. You've sent it off. There you go. It's a bit like, um, remember in the day where we, <laughs> I say remember in the day, probably some of you don't, when we wrote letters and sent it. Um, you know, my mum and dad, when they got together, my dad was in the Navy. And my mum, the only way she could hear from him was through letters. And she had to send this letter to some military place or naval place. And then they get put on the ships that they go to, sorting office. You know, it could be weeks before she'd hear anything. Quite something, quite extraordinary to wait two weeks to hear anything from somebody. Sometimes we don't want to wait 24 hours. We don't want to wait three days. Here's the thing about that. When you're on the other side in the spirit world, um, time doesn't exist. These hours, minutes, days, um, weeks, years, months that pop by, they were created by scientists to try to explain why the earth goes around the sun like it does. So just because something's not happening the way you want it to, the way you're unfolding it will, doesn't mean to say it won't. Doesn't mean to say it's not in your in your future. It just isn't happening according to this clock, this time clock. But know what happens. You just, once you let it go, go, bye. Bring me what I need. Thank you. Move on to the next project. Everything we do, every vibration we send out, including the messy ones, the ones that we shouldn't be sending out at all, the hateful thoughts, the nasty speeches, the negative things we say about ourselves first. What you're putting out there, what you're, what you're pushing into the world, it's a bit like taking a spiritual fart and everybody else has to smell it. It's horrible. So pay attention to what you're saying to yourself, what you're putting out there in the world. Because if you're looking for this... Utopia. Look at this picture. I mean, this looks like an ice skater, but doesn't matter. He's got the world right here. Come and get it. I'm here. I'm in the world. Bring it on. That's what we want to do. We want to bring it on. Let's go. That I can get behind. That energy. You've got everything you need. What are you waiting for? That bus. That let's get going. Let's all do it. Let's have it. If your inner voice is telling you something, listen to it. But you've got to clear out the clutter. This is like the morning after the mess before. You know, in the middle of cleaning out the kitchen or the closet, whatever you're cleaning out, get rid of. There's stuff that you haven't seen in years. You don't need it. If you haven't seen it, somebody else can use it or unfortunately becomes part of a landfill. All right, it is time to meditate. So I'm going to do a visualization. But first of all, let me bring in my prayer of protection, um, I think, first. And then we'll ask the guides and the angels to come and see, you know, what happens today. Who's going to visit? I feel like somebody is. And we're going to get a visualization coming on. So sit with your feet. Flat on the floor so you know you're grounded to the earth. And then your palms... You know, upward in receiving. Um, I want you to think about your feet as being magnets gluing you to the earth and your palms as being um, same, similar receivers. Like um, these are the receivers and the energetic transmission is coming down. Thank you, Archangel Michael. 
for cutting the unnecessary cords that bind me to people, places, situations, stories, an unwanted drama that no longer serves my purpose and is no longer welcome in my life. I declare that I am safe and free and I lift the weight of the world off my shoulders. I am the keeper. Put your hands over your heart. You can repeat after me. I am the keeper of my mind and my body. Wherever love is, fear is a stranger. And love is here within me. With your eyes closed, see ahead of you the source. And allow the source to create a bubble, a protection, a bubble of love coming directly from your angels and from God. Let it surround you. Let it engulf you, let it embrace you. And thank you, angels, for reminding us that you're here and showing me what I need to know, what I need to share with others. I am willing to listen and to receive and to share and to give. So it is. Get yourself comfortable. And use your breath as you would normally, but connecting with a decent amount of inhales and exhales. And set yourself up for building your day right now in this moment. Bring your attention to the area around your heart, the centre of your being. Your third eye centre, the area between your eyebrows. And the crown chakra, the area on top of your head. Into your heart, there is a light. Your eternal flame of your soul. that has travelled into this world with you. See your whole body illuminated with this light.
as you sit quietly, peacefully, perfectly still and protected. Begin to feel the vibrational energy of your guardian angel, of your spirit guides, and those who are with you on this journey. Notice where the energy is coming from. Continue to breathe. To lift and open yourself to the messages the love and the support is now being given to you Now is the time, if you wish, to ask for your personal message. Allow the energy and the light within your body to shine brighter. Breathe in deeper. Allow the clarity of this light to wash away and cleanse any of the doubts, any of the fears, any of the negativity that have trapped within your mind and your body.
know that there may be one or more spirit guides and angels that wish to visit. Know they come from love. They come from peace. They come to serve your highest good. To you using your breath. When you feel complete, bring your hands to prayer at heart center. It's important to honor yourself for this work, honor yourself for the grace that you have come here. And lift your thumb knuckles to your third eye center. Let's honor each other and the world and the planet. Do bow our heads. Namaste. Um. The art and practice of meditation is a practice. It takes time. It's, I've said like a muscle. Um. I do believe it is the way to connect with these energies that are not physical, which is really where we all come from. Um, and the more you practice and the more you connect, the simpler it seems to be. Um, the spirit world is not complicated. It's not, yeah, it's not confusing. And most angels, when they come, they come with goodness, um, love, with positive messages. What I'm now realising is that the human experience is, in my own way, in my own way, making it the times I've vacillated between decisions, won't really go with the gut feeling, go with the first choice. It's always the, ends up being the better one. And I don't know why, I've asked why, do I get so caught up in the confusion of it all? The back and the forth, the non-believing it. And it goes down to, unfortunately, there are people that want the best for us, that love us, that care about us, and they want us to do well, truly. And yet sometimes what they believe we're doing may not be what they think is for our highest good 
eventually, if you've noticed, anytime you've followed your gut feeling and you've just gone for it, you've done your thing, and it worked out for you, the cautious folks who are being careful, letting us know this might not be in your highest interest, they sort of take a step back and watch. And you might inspire them. Listen, have a great Monday. Start your week well. I would say drink lots of water. Begin to pay attention to what you're putting in your body so that you can be mindful of what's coming out, what you're saying, what you're thinking, what you're believing. And try to find a new habit after you've let go of one that you perhaps don't need anymore. All right. See you in the morning. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye.